movies from an expert's perspective. We're thinking beyond movies. Where's cinema headed? Let's find out. It's on cinema at the cinema with Tim Heidecker. Lights, camera, action. Welcome to On Cinema at the Cinema. I'm your announcer, Tim Heidecker. And with me, as always, is the film guru himself, the expert of all things cinema, Mr. Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Thanks, Tim. We got a special episode today. We're going to look at uh, one of the new movies that's actually in the news quite a bit, as well as do some popcorn classics. Great. What's the first movie on, <coughs> on in store? What's the first movie in store? Well, this is a controversial one. The movie is Solo, a Star Wars story. You've no doubt heard about this movie. Uh, there's a lot of media coverage. Uh, people are anticipating its release. I'm going to do something a little unusual, uh, and I think this is really my right to do. Uh, as a film expert, sometimes you have to make decisions that go against the grain. I am going to decline to review this movie, and I'm going to tell you why. I think any longtime viewer knows that George Lucas and co. are guilty of theft in taking my master codebreaker character and folding it into the Star Wars world. Yep. And I don't know if that <clears throat> character plays into this movie. I'm going to have to assume that he does. But in any case, I'm boycotting the movie until I receive full credit from Mr. Lucas and an invitation to appear in one of the future Star Wars movies. So I cannot give it any bags of popcorn. However, I thought what we'd do instead, just to make this uh, kind of a special episode, is do many, many, many popcorn classics, which is something people have always wanted, and in the past we've been unable to do it. <clears throat> and we're able to do it today. Uh, I've got quite a few here, and I've got quite a few over there, too. Depending on time, we'll go through them all. Okay. Our first popcorn classic today is Double Exposure. This is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, it stars Ian Buchanan, who you may not know, and Ron Perlman, who you definitely do know. Uh, a possessive husband is consumed by rage when his beautiful wife's infidelity is exposed. So this is a revenge movie. It was released by Prism Entertainment, and it is 93 minutes. We had one last week that was 93 minutes. That's an hour and a half. Hour and a half, well, plus three minutes. Uh, okay. Anything else? No, I guess that's all you need to know on this one. Prism Entertainment. Okay. Uh, I don't need the card anymore either. <coughs> Blackheart. Um, this stars Christopher Plummer from The Sound of Music, but this is very much unlike The Sound of Music. Uh, this is a well, it's about a sexy seductress who cunningly lures the victims with her beauty. Streetwise Ray, played by Richard Gaco, is the muscle who finishes the scams. Together, they're the perfect partners. So it's about con artists and sort of that whole subculture, which is not a good way to live. Um, it was directed by Brock Simpson and uh, stars Fiona Leoe and several others. Running time is 95 minutes. That's just like the last one, but two minutes longer. So that would be a good double feature for you. It's sort of impromptu double feature. If you've got three hours and eight minutes, watch those two movies together. And then we've got, Tim? Yeah, sorry. Oh, Steven Dorff and Wesley Snipes in Blade. Uh, 91 minutes. Again, it's always close to 90 minutes with these. All right. um, I can't. I'm sorry. Chris Christopher. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm sorry. This is it. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Okay. I'm, you I don't have anything the, to do. I can't you don't be the host. To watch the movies Shut anymore. Up. I'm not the host. I'm. I'm not who I am. This is not who I am. Okay. Okay. I'm a fighter, and I'm laying down like a dog. A couple weeks ago, I stand on the Sixth Street Bridge. If I fucking jumped, I'm in hell. Fuck this. No, we're done. Okay, and here's the message. Here's the message for Delgados. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. You hear me? Your son is in hell, Delgado. That was his choice. It was their all, all their choice. They had nothing to fucking do with it. I'm clean. My conscience is clean. I live free. I'm a free man. I'm germ free. All right. This was my show. And they stole it. And Delgado, you motherfucker, I, you stole it from me, you piece of shit. And Dwyer, you cunt. I'm going to come for you, too, you piece of shit. And I'm coming for you, Rosetti, wherever the fuck you are. I'm coming for you. I'm running for district attorney. You understand me? 
I'm running for district attorney of San Bernardino County. Why? Because I'm a fighter and I know what that county needs. I already proved myself that I am the best lawyer there's ever. I won that case fair and square and I am proven in the court of law, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and be a host for that piece of shit here with his dumb bullshit movies, okay? I run for Congress, I run for governor, I run for mayor of Victorville and shut down the fucking Victorville film archive. Fuck him. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Let me just... Listen, I have every right to be angry. A lot of people get angry, and that's passion. And passion is what this county needs. We need a passionate district attorney who cares about your uh, laws. And I am, you saw me in court. I won, I won the case. What else do you want to know? I want to be your DA, and I hope I have your vote. Because I'll fight harder than anybody out there combined. Fuck this piece of shit. I'm Tim Heidecker and I approve this message. My name is Joe Estevez. You probably know me from the hit TV series Decker, where I play President Jason Davison. But today, I have a message for the good people of San Bernardino County. This November, you have a choice to choose a new district attorney, a chance to make a difference, a chance to change the direction of your community and stop the endless cycle of political cronyism and flat-out corruption. Tim Heidecker, a man of honor and dignity with a proven record in the courtroom, he'll bring a fresh voice to the DA's office. Now, he's an outsider, but he know how but you know he knows how to make change happen. He has touched so many lives and he just wants to bring real law and, and order along with justice to the good people of Victorville and Apple Valley and the surrounding San Bernardino County. This is the chance to give Vincent Rossetti his pink slip and send a message to the state of California that Tim Heidecker is the only choice for DA. Join our movement today and elect Tim Heidecker for district 